Can a keystroke injection payload be cross-platform, meaning work with ease on Windows, Mac, and Linux? Yes, we're doing that today on Hack5. Hello and welcome to Hack5. My name is Darren Kitchen. It's your weekly dose of Technolust, and it is exciting to be back to answer the big question that I keep seeing on the forums and IRC and Twitter. Yes, I took a hiatus with Hack5, first time in 13 years, personal life, lost someone very special to me. I hope you guys are in a happy and safe place and had a wonderful holiday. Uh, it's 2019, we've got an amazing new year ahead of us, some really great things. And uh, so, so with all of that, let's, let's just dive right in. Uh, and what I'd like to do today is demonstrate something that I keep getting asked, which is, you know, if you don't know what the operating system of your target or your victim computer is going to be, whether that's Windows or Mac or Linux, how are you able to craft a payload that may be able to do something really fun and functional against those? And it, as it turns out, you know, while yes, there are cool ways that we've talked about in the past to profile that machine, find out what it's running, and then do a payload based on that, we can actually do some pretty cool stuff without ever needing to know, which is really fun. Uh, so what I'd like to do today is demonstrate that by writing a payload that does something really simple. And uh, effectively, it's going to work against Windows, Mac, and Linux. And here's the thing. If you're a veteran to Windows, you're kind of going to know exactly where I'm going with this already, which is to say that on Windows, holding down GUI or Windows key and L locks the screen. Similarly, on a Mac, it's Control Command Q, as I've recently discovered switching over to a Mac recently. Uh, and on Linux, it's either Windows key L, just like on a Windows box, or it is uh, Control Alt L. All of those keystrokes lock the screen, something you should be doing when you go to get coffee, right? Well, a beautiful thing about this is that all of the other operating systems really don't care if you feed them com you know, keystrokes they don't know. Like on a Windows box, if you hit Command, Control, L, it's just going to ignore it. So we're going to use that to our advantage. We're going to take advantage of this, in fact, and build a beautiful prank-like payload to lock your screen. Let's take a look. All right, we're here in our virtual machine. We've got uh, Kali Linux set up. We've got a uh, Windows box here, and then this is all running on a Mac. So we've got all three to test, and I'm just going to go ahead and fire up Explorer. I've already got my Bash Bunny connected in arming mode. And we'll head over to payloads, and I'm just going to build this in the switch to payload. So let's see whatever is already in here. Uh, not much interesting. Okay, cool. So we're going to call this, I don't know, auto locker. And let's go ahead and start off by saying, uh, yeah, we'll set the LED to something. Let's go with M for magenta and fast. So it'll quickly blink magenta. We could also use like LED attack if we want it to be standardized. But we're going to be weird right now. Uh, and then we're going to set our attack mode, not read-only storage. No, we're going to set our attack mode to HID for um, human interface device. We're just going to do keystroke injection for this. Nothing fancy, only one attack mode. You could literally do this on a uh, USB rubber ducky in a very similar fashion. I'm just using the Bash money because it's fun. And actually, what I'm going to do is use Bash because I've got the full power of it. Well, I could just do quack, you know... Um, uh, whatever the keystroke is. So GUI L to lock on Windows and Quack, right? Um, control TTRL uh, dash Alt L on Linux. And you can see where this is going. Um, it would be more fun to use the power of Bash that I have under the hood. And that is to say, use a, I don't know, something simple like a while loop. And we're going to do while true, meaning just keep doing this forever. And what are we going to do? Well, we're going to do what we just did the second ago. We're going to do quack GUI L. And then we're going to pause for a moment because pausing is always good. We'll sleep for like half a second. And then we'll do our next one, which would be quack control dash alt uh, and L. So that will cover Linux. And then we'll again sleep half a second. And then quack. And then on a Mac, it's command. Control and the letter Q. And then again, we'll just sleep half a second just so everybody's happy. And I'm doing this on one line, but you could make this pretty if you wanted to. And it was done. That's pretty much it. In all seriousness, this payload is done. Let's go test it out. So I'll go ahead and save here. We will safely eject the Bash Bunny. 
And let's plug it into our Windows box now and switch position two. And it's registered and just as expected, it instantly locks the machine. I'm gonna go ahead and log in. This is a test Windows box, so the, the password's one character, but boom. And, oh, locked again. All right, uh, log in. Oh, you can see where this is going, right? You know, a lot of us work in IT. You can imagine those coworkers that might find this amusing if it were surreptitiously plugged into their computers. Yeah, I'm just gonna throw that out there. Similarly, if we come over to our Linux box, we're gonna find the same effect. And you can see where this is going. And as you'll see here on this uh, OS X box, you're gonna find the same results. There it goes. All right, well, with that, we're gonna take a moment to talk about our Hack5 Gear giveaway, but first, a word from our sponsor. Domain.com has all of your website needs, from .com and .net to intuitive website builders. Create your online identity with their affordable, reliable tools, and even brand yourself with over 300 extensions from .club to .space. Domain.com loves Hack5, which is why you get 15% off domain names, hosting, and email when you use coupon code HACK5. When you think domain names, think domain.com. Now, before the break, we did a payload on air-gapped file transfers. I love these little boxes for PKI. It's so much fun. And I asked what your particular PKI setups were, and I found some really fascinating comments, my favorite of which is from Dr. Destruction, who has this really elaborate setup using an FPGA board, and it was inspired by a DEF CON talk on untrustworthy hardware. So I'm gonna go ahead and link to that video in the description below. Uh, and go ahead, Dr. Construction, and get a hold of us through contest at hack5.org to claim your prize a copy of Get Loot. This week, I'm thinking about giving away a Bash Bunny, uh, and I would love to solicit your comments and see what you would do to add some creativity to this particular prank payload. So go ahead and just comment below. I've got a little snippet in the description of what we just did here, and I would love to send you out a Bash Bunny just like this one, except without the red switch. We'll talk about that next time. Uh, and yeah, share your creativity. Win yourself a copy of uh, Bash Bunny. And with that, I just want to say thanks for watching. I hope you had an epic holiday. I hope you're as invigorated for 2019 as I am. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. With that, I'm Darren Kitchen. Trust your techno lust.